Hey guys, it's Nate, hey guys, it's AKA The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to look at some possible investments um, on a Sunday night sell-off, which should be happening today, tonight when this video goes live, a weekend league sell-off, and where we can kind of put our coins for what is coming up in the next few days. It's gonna be based around a lot of special cards, a lot of informs, and a lot of other special items in the game that are out of packs, that are rare, that uh, usually their sell-off on Sunday night is one of their lowest points of the week, and especially some player of the month investments. I definitely wanna get some of those um, early on this Sunday today um, before people start seeing stuff about Premier League player of the month, which should be coming out this coming Friday. Um, after this video comes out. So first thing I want to look at is again, the discard informs just to say a little bit about those. If you do not have some of these guys from team of the week 11 in your club, especially this land card, I think he's a phenomenal investment for Bundesliga player of the month. And just as a discard investment in general, he is about 12,000 coins on both consoles, but you can get him on bid and on snipe uh, at times for less than 12,000 coins, which I would definitely recommend to be greedy with those prices. Why don't we just go over to Footbin and check the team out right here. Um, specifically from this Team of the Week, there are a few cards that I'm looking at. I've touched these already in a Team of the Week investing video, but I think Pavlenka, Caliguri, Kazorla, um, Lang, and then all the rest of the discard guys down here on the bench, Bagonda, Butele, Silvestre, even these guys down here. Um, I do think that I will be picking up a few of them and stocking them on my transfer list. Um, for a couple reasons. First of all, I like Lang as a player of the month investment. I like Moy as a player of the month investment, and those events are coming up very soon. Um, but I also like these discard guys because they have good, great nations and uh, great leagues to link with with the upcoming Footmas promotion, which we're kind of still left in the dark on that. We don't know exactly what's coming. There's a lot of people that have been putting out concept Footmas cards uh, going along the lines of Footmas from past years, uh, but we'll really have to see this year if uh, Footmas is Champions League related, which I feel like it might be uh, somewhat Champions League uh, related just because there are some Champions League games uh, around that time here in a couple weeks and the group stages will be ending, moving on to the knockout stages. So we might have like a team of the group stage come out kind of close to that Christmas time. So we'll have to be on our toes and be well prepared for any situation. That's why I want to get a lot of informs though, uh, because I feel like there are opportunities in the future uh, for those players to go up. One other thing I want to take a look at here in regards to Team of the Week 11 is Alexander Arnold. As you can see, he's got a lot of games played already. He's only been in packs since the Wednesday, which is about four days. It is, um, he's been played a lot. Obviously, a lot of people have Liverpool teams. A lot of people have, you know, the red Van Dyke, the red Wijnaldum. So he provides a nice link to those cards. Even though he's not the best, he's an, a special version of a right back in the Premier League. Um, and I do want to say one thing about this. I think he will rise in price come this week after he goes out of packs. But we'll have to be careful with Team of the Week predictions this week because if Ricardo Pereira, uh, he had an 8.2 match rating today for Leicester in a 2-0 win. He didn't score or get an assist, but he could be a sneaky um, person to get in the Team of the Week. I still feel like this card would rise, but Ricardo Pereira would hurt this card's price for sure as a substitute good to this Alexander Arnold item. But if this card hits about 25k on PS4 or 27, 28k on Xbox, I think I will be buying this card, um, buying him up because I could easily see him going to 35k for the next weekend league. And then some other cards that I think we can get into on Sunday night are again looking at some team of the, or excuse me, some player of the month investing, and that is a Raheem Sterling inform. Uh, this inform, I think at its lowest, was on Thursday when weekend league rewards came out in the middle of the night for my time and think this card hit about 150,000 coins flat on Xbox and it was about 148 at one point as well so we'll actually go over here and check it out on Footbin real fast uh, just to see what's going on with this card because a lot of people are going to think this card will be required for Sterling player of the month Look, looks like prices are comparable on both consoles we'll go to the hourly graph check Friday and yeah so they're they've been about the same both consoles um, around 160 to 170,000 coins as you can see there. So I think if this gets to 150 again, the lower 150s I think would be a great time to buy the Sterling card and I think it could definitely rise back up to about 175 to 180,000 coins. So you could be making 20k a card on these Sterling informs. 
based on your price range, if you have 500,000 coins in the club right now, I think one of them is a good pickup. If you're on um, a couple million coins, I think you could pick up multiple of them. This blue sterling card, I think, is a decent buy as well, but he's got to get back under 100k for me to even begin to look at him. Because right now he's about 110, 115,000 coins, and I don't think that card will rise up as much as this sterling will right here and then going along with that player of the month um, we have to look at some link investments with that card because sterling is projected to win and if sterling wins i think this kyle walker the blue kyle walker card is gonna go nuts he's about 220k right now and he got a lot of publicity this weekend from the pro event because a lot of the pros a lot of the teams that i saw uh, the pros were using had this card in the team so he gets a nice perfect link to Sterling on that right side if you have a connection between right mid and right back, which a lot of formations do. So that's a card to watch. Um, and then, obviously, as we move on to Bundesliga Player of the Month, Marco Royce uh, is probably going to get hyped up as he, the fan vote is such a big part of the Bundesliga Player of the Month that he could absolutely win, just purely because if he kills the fan vote, um, he could uh, get a lot of votes from that. So right now, Marco Royce is about 335k. I would like to get this card somewhere around the low 300s because I think he still has a lot of supply with his 87 rated and the 86 rated I believe is not much cheaper than that. So if we see the 86 rated drop back to about 270, uh, which I maybe think is plausible, but I think people are already starting to hold, uh, to hold this card for his player of the month possibility. Um, I don't think that one will be the best investments. The 87 might be the best investment because there's more supply. So there could be more of a sell-off come uh, tonight when the weekend league starts to end. You have squad battle rewards and stuff like that. That kind of time period is when we're going to be looking at the Royce cards. So again, we're looking at this 87 Royce at 300k or a little bit under. Um, even if it's like three O's, that's a decent price for that card. And then the 86 Royce under 300. Um, just because he's so much more rare. Um, I don't know how fast he will drop entirely, but those two cards could be great pickups on tonight's um, weekend league sell-off. I wanted to make one small note on this talk about player of the month and investing in these informs. Um, the Bundesliga player of the month, uh, the Sancho SBC just ended about, uh, Thursday of this week. So it's not going to be very soon when a Royce or when a Thorgan Hazard player of the month card would come out. It's gonna be another one, it's gonna be actually another two weeks before we do see the Bundesliga player of the month card. So there is time to invest in these. But what, you, what I'm talking about with the discard informs is you have to get on those now uh, because they are in packs and they have supply and there aren't any SBCs. So especially like Lang and Kaliaguri, you have to get in on those guys now um, because of the fact that they're not going to be in packs in a couple weeks when they could be required and that could help them rise up into that hype. That's why I'm telling you guys to get these guys now. The Premier League Player of the Month investments, uh, those should be meant for this weekend, except for the gold cards. I mean, unless you're going to stack um, gold cards that you're going to bid on during squad battle rewards tonight, um, the informs you want to get in on, but uh, you can wait to buy some of the gold cards until later this week. But, uh, you know, we never know our, what we're guaranteed with SBCs, so if you want to buy some gold cards, this weekend is the, the prime opportunity for the Premier League investments for Player of the Month. But uh, Bundesliga, you have a lot of time for. You have some time to wait and see what could be coming content-wise in FIFA in the next couple of weeks. So there's no rush on the Royce, on the Thorgan Hazard informs, or Bundesliga stuff, except for the Lang, the Kaliaguri, and the Pavlenka. I think you should, if you guys are going to pick those up, now is the time to do that while they're in packs. But just wanted to point that out. One last thing I want to touch on are UCL live cards, and especially this guy, Fabinho, right here. On Footpin, I'm going to pull up the Index UCL Live just to show you guys. Obviously, they were very hyped up in the middle of the week um, when those Champions League games were happening, and a lot of them have come down in price some, but a lot of them are still very high in price as we look at a lot of these guys' prices. Fabinho's 330k, Florenzi 245, Lingard 150, um, even Tellez is 125, Renato Sanchez 150. So a lot of these guys, if we do see a weekend league sell-off, there are Champions League games again in a couple weeks in the midweek. 
Um, I think it's about a week and a half away from now. So if those cards probably gonna rise up again into the hype because these are the last games of the group stage play for a lot of these teams. So uh, especially teams that are on the line like Fabinho, um, people are probably going to buy up this card again like we saw last time around. It may not be as drastic, but it also could reach the same level because of this last game week um, being the last match day of Champions League. So again, for a guy like Fabinho, we're looking to get him around 300,000, 310,000 coins on Xbox. And on PlayStation 4, you're going to look to get him around, you know, 320, 330 maybe. That could be a decent price because uh, obviously he rose up to 439k on PlayStation and 380 on Xbox. But uh, yeah, on PlayStation, actually, I think maybe like 340, 350 is a better value. So if you see him drop another 20 to 30k on each console, I think that is kind of your, your place to go. Uh, with Fabinho just because he is a very valued card in this game a lot of people want to use him another one that I'm going to be curious to watch is this Raheem Sterling card he is 280,000 coins right now and uh, last week before the games he was about 220 230 so he's very comparable on Xbox and PS uh, but I want to see if the player of the month card hurts this card at all even though the this card has the potential to upgrade in the future uh, we'll just see if maybe if the 88 rated, which is uh, what his player of the month should be rated, if the 88 rated card uh, makes this drop at all, that will be something where we need to value this card if it drops like to 230k, which the price was down here obviously before Champions League games were uh, coming this, this past week. Uh, I think that's where we just go in and buy a few of those cards because uh, that would be some hype and some, some panic selling I guess you could say for people that are using the 88 instead of the 86. So that's gonna be something we're gonna to have to watch in the next coming weeks. But uh, for all of these UCL cards, pick out the ones that are the most usable, the most OP, like this Kempembe center back card. A lot of people love this card. So if you see this on P on PlayStation, get back down to about 210, 220,000 coins. And on Xbox, if you see it about 190, uh, 180, I think that's a great pickup. We'll just gotta kinda of see how much of a sell off there is with these cards come this weekend because there, there might not be much of a sell-off. People might still be holding on to these cards and we just might have to dig it out with these prices and maybe buy in at a higher price or not buy in at all or wait for some type of panic around these cards to get a chance to make them uh, make some profit off of them again. But right now, as you can see, Fabinho is sitting here at 335,000 coins and um, he is holding his value, but there is not a lot of supply. If we go back and look at the supply of his card, a lot of people must have these UCL cards in their teams. Even though he's 86 rated, he's Fabinho, there are not very many of them on the market. Um, so that's very interesting to me, even though people do probably have them in their weekend league teams. Um, still, uh, I feel like there should be a little bit more supply than that. So again, UCL live cards, we're gonna be keeping watches on those. Icons as well, definitely wanna watch those this weekend as icons were super, super high. Um, you don't know if they're going to rebound again to that same level that we saw, but um, especially some icons I've already seen tonight. I'm recording this on Saturday night. A few of them I've already seen drop off a lot in price. Some of them 100,000 to 200,000 coins. One example I have is the middle Baggio, the 91 rated Baggio card. Baggio, not sure how to say his name exactly, but um, yeah, this card right here, he was selling this morning, literally about 18 hours ago, he was selling for this price of 990K. As you can see right there, this one's listed for 889 and it's going the full hour without selling. So people are already starting to sell these icons. The ones that are most desirable, your best, your Pele, your Socrates, Crespo, you know, the high tier icons, we're gonna have to watch those. And if we see some big dips in prices, uh, we're gonna wanna maybe snag or one or two of those because they could rebound back up. That's obviously only for those people that have a very large coin but budget. Again, to just to review, discard informs, uh, get them early because I think when a lot of people sell off their weekend league teams, they're gonna go out and they're gonna start buying some of these cards, especially a guy like Lang. I think he's very popular. Um, I think a lot of people are looking at him and guys like Santi Cazorla and Santi Mina, I think, the other 83 rated cards that are Spanish from this team of the week. I think Santi Cazorla is around 18,000, 19,000 coins. So a lot of people are gonna be watching this card because he does have a lot of uh, linking potential for SBCs. I think it's a great card. I'm gonna be picking up a few of them, but I'd like to see him get under 18K before I do any of that. Again, get those informs earlier rather than later because people sell their teams, they have coins and they go invest, causing those prices 
to rise. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.